So I have my Arai Corsair X. This is my new one. This is your face. This is your face on concrete. Anyway, so today we're gonna mount the GoPro Hero 10 onto the Arai Corsair X by we're kinda waiting around for the Ducati to come in. Uh, should be here, I'm hoping October 1st. Um, it's kinda like one of those things where, you know, it's a um, one to two month waiting period. So what that means is really like, once the bike ships from the Ducati factory in Italy, um, the dealership will get the word that it's shipped and then the bike can kind of show up in a week, two weeks, three weeks. They really don't know. It's kind of like just one of those things, you know, you just kind of got to wait for it. It is what it is. But make no doubt about it or make no mistake about it, that Ducati Penigale will be here eventually. And uh, that is the new bike. There's no turning back from it now. Like I said, it was a non-refundable deal. So um, the bike's coming and it's mine. So I can't wait. Never a million years thought I'd own a Ducati. And it's just a dream come true, really. So we need to set up the GoPro Hero 10 and just make sure all that stuff's ready to go because I don't want to be fiddling around with cameras and stuff once the bike gets here. When, the day the bike shows up, I want to be able to put the helmet on and take you guys on the first impression video ride. Like, get in, like everything's going to be so awesome. I can't wait for you guys to go on this journey with me. It's going to be freaking amazing. Corsair X. This is an unbelievable helmet. This is a $1,000 helmet. It is the best of the best you can get. And you don't really want to weigh it down too much. It's really light. You know, like my old HJC helmet, if you guys look back in the videos of the install of the GoPro setup I have on that, pretty good, pretty good. It had this big, like, mechanical arm on the side, and the GoPro was humongous with the cage, and this thing was on the bottom of it. Uh, it it's just big and bulky and heavy, and, and you don't really want all that, you know? Like, you want to kind of minimize this thing and make it a small as you possibly can, you know? And that's kind of my idea this time because this is a really, really nice helmet and I hate to weigh it down. So, a few things you're gonna need for this. Uh, number one, you're gonna need some kind of a blow dryer or a heat gun. I have both, but I'm deciding to go with a heat uh, hair dryer because you don't really need that much heat and you don't wanna heat this fiberglass up too much because you can warp it and ruin it. You just need a little bit to heat up this. Um, if you have a vice, grip or something like that to clamp it onto the helmet uh, for a little while, that's great. If not, um, that's fine too, whatever. Uh, but you're gonna need this specific, if you have the Arai Corsair X, you wanna find and just type in Google and I'll leave the link below, just type in Arai Corsair X chin mount and you need this exact one right here, all right? And what that's gonna do is provide you a nice flush surface to work with instead of like the regular mounts that you get from gopro it won't fit on this front end and it'll only fit like over here or up top here or somewhere and you don't want this set up over here you don't want it up here or any of that stuff you don't want it on the i mean maybe you want it on a bike if you have two but generally what you want is this thing to be straight in your eyesight this isn't the front of the camera this this is the front of the, this is the lens so that's where you want your eyes to go and always be cognizant of when you put this on your helmet. So you wanna play around with this stuff for a little while first. You don't want it to be straight like this, right? Like, so say you have it, say you have your helmet like this, right? And you have this GoPro straight. You don't always look straight. Your, your head bending down when you ride a motorcycle. So if you have the helmet, if you have the GoPro like this, all you're gonna be seeing is the uh, gas tank and the front of the bike. You're not gonna see what I'm actually seeing. So the way you do that is you're going to get these 90 degree and these adapters, and then you're going to be able to bend the camera like that, right? Depending on where you want it. And now when that's mounted onto the helmet and you're bent down, which you always are, now the camera's seeing what you're seeing, right? So, and you don't want to be seeing the top of your body and all that stuff. You, you don't want to be seeing over to the left or over to the right. You want to be seeing exactly what I'm seeing. So that's why you want to play around with that and, and all that. So if you're going to talk in the videos, like I do, like if you want to do voiceovers after, then you don't need this. But a lot of guys will do moto vlogs and they're going to talk. So I'll leave the link below for this mic. You can use the blue or purple panda or whatever it is. I don't like that one. I don't find it to work as good as this one. I'll leave the link below for this. I don't recall 
where I got it or what it is, uh, but I will leave the link below and I'll tag, you'll see it said mic, microphone for GoPro. Uh, so there's this one. I will install the dead cat onto this front after, and that'll really help uh, minimize the wind noise. Like this is gonna be minimal wind noise coming into this helmet with the um, chin strap and the other chin strap that's in here as well. And all the, like this neck roll really seals around your neck really nice. So this helmet's gonna sound really good, but I used this also with my HJC helmet with just the dead cat. And that thing was just wind coming all up in there and it still sounded pretty good, but this is gonna sound way better. Um, so that's gonna go in and you're gonna basically stuff that all into the cheek pads. Another thing that you're going to need to get, if you can, is, and wherever I put it, oh, here it is. <clears throat> Get yourself some really good heavy duty Velcro. That's what we're gonna use to install a lot of this. Like, that's how we're gonna tuck the wire in here nicely. We're just gonna kinda trap it in there with some Velcro. And that's also how we're going to install the mount uh, for the GoPro um, guy here, the freaking microphone adapter. So we're gonna put that out here. It's not gonna be, excuse me, it's not gonna be on the bottom of the of the GoPro like I had set up on the other one. It's just too heavy. I want it to kind of spread out the weight on this and keep it. So if I want to take it off, I can just easily Velcro this thing off. So that's my idea for this setup. I think it's gonna look sick. I think it's gonna look awesome. Um, you do need this. Uh, by the way, you do need this GoPro, um, the GoPro freaking mic adapter. If you do not have this, you will not be able to get clean audio. Uh, especially with the Hero 10. So it's gonna plug in here into the side of the GoPro and then the mic's gonna plug in here and that's gonna run through the helmet and you're gonna have your mic. You absolutely need this and it has to be the one from GoPro. See it? GoPro. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I don't have any really good light in this apartment yet. I don't have my lighting set up. It's in storage. It, it just is what it is, guys, sorry. Um, but anyways, let's get started on the install. The first thing we're gonna do is install the microphone. Um, well, you know what we're gonna do first is kind of play around where we want this stuff, right? So the chin strap, the way I'm gonna do this, we're gonna put this in here like that. And then we're gonna figure out where we want this, right? So it's probably gonna be like, you're gonna have to have a little bit of um, give somewhere, right? You're not, I'm not gonna be able to get the camera perfectly straight because of the way this thing is. So if I want the lens right in front of my eye, I'd have to put this over here like this. The problem is then the camera's facing that way, right? Because this does not rotate side to side, which is kind of a bummer. And I really wish they did have something. And then they probably do. And uh, if they get that, I will totally redo this whole thing. Uh, but, with, but for now, um, we're just gonna have to give a little bit and the lens is probably gonna be like right to my left eye here just a little bit. So we're gonna pop the helmet on. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna have the, this thing looks awesome, right? And we're probably gonna need it to be somewhere here. I don't know, right here. Probably, so we don't want the camera like here, you're right, this makes no sense. This thing's, that's probably about where it's gonna be, right? And then keep in mind, like I said, when you're riding a motorcycle, your head's down most of the time, so you want that to be straight. You don't want your camera like this, all right? So that's why you have that all like this. So it's kind of gonna be right there. It, I really ideally would love it to be right here, but again, now the camera is facing too much. You'll be able to see that in the video. I will at least. So it's got to be straight and that's going to be perfect. I really wish GoPro would just put the freaking lens in the center. But the engineering of it, the battery and all the stuff that they do, there's a reason why they put it there. So in any case, oh, yeah. oh I love this helmet so freaking much, guys. Oh, thank you, Liz. And you guys know who that is. Elizabeth Wanders send me helmets over here so the mic adapter is going to be this is where the uh camera is going to be but you don't want to be like twisting this all around too much you really kind of want to have this in a good spot so this is going to be tough i don't know guys i don't really know i didn't really 
Oh, you know what? Maybe we can flip this like that. Is that a possibility? Oh, that's money. There we go. Okay. So perfect. Boom. I mean, I hate, I hate it. I, I hate the way it's going to look on his helmet, but oh, and it's not going to be flush either. Oh my God. Well, you know, I mean, could you get so really just leave the freaking thing hanging there? You know, like, that's, don't do that. I don't know, guys. I guess I'm just going to have to fucking deal with it. Oh, man, that's terrible. I didn't really think that this was going to be that difficult. Um, but it is. It is. So... Let's put some, uh, what I'll do is I'll just put some tape on this guy. Uh, we'll clean it up with some alcohol. I'll put a little tape on this and then we'll see kind of how that goes. Do we really do want it like this though, huh? No, it's going to be too much of, of a curvy dilemma. So we're going to want it like that. So we're going to use this side. Okay. Here's Storm to eat the freaking blow dryer. Sorry, and we're just gonna cut. Boom. Now be very careful when you're cutting this stuff because you do not wanna cut your freaking wires, boys. All right, don't cut your wires up or anything like that because then you're gonna be like, fuck, dude. Now I need a new damn. Now you need a new one. So with this, now you're just gonna get the other side of the Velcro. Just right here, I mean, whatever. Doesn't really freaking matter. Here, here, right here is good, All right? It's gonna be straight like that. And then we're gonna have this here. See, that's the issue, it's like kind of rocking. It is what it is, it's gonna be fine. So I'm just gonna kind of Get the alcohol, do that on this area, get the blow dryer, heat it up, take off of that, and this is where the camera's going to be, now we're just going to kind of stick it, boom, that's it money i mean like i said this does not have to be perfect like that's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine all day all right oh it's so sick actually and if you want to take that off fine you're just gonna have a stupid black strip on your helmet when you're not using your gopro but we're gonna leave that for i mean this stuff is so freaking sticky like it's gonna be fine all right so now that that part is finished we can go ahead to really take your time doing this part you know you don't want the camera to be like this or like this or anything. You want it straight. And then you want this to be straight as well. Because remember, if you have it too far over this way, like this, or over this way, it's going to be facing either way. You want it to be perfectly straight. So I think a really good spot for that is, so right there is two, two crooked, right there, right about. Okay, now that I know exactly where I want this thing, we're just gonna kinda plop it on there now and then we will kinda go from there. Boom. It's on there now. All right, so at this point, this is where you wanna kinda take, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take the camera off of here now. Get my clamp and I'm gonna clamp this, but do not do this too tight, guys. That's all you need to do. Just a light, light clamping. You do not wanna bust the fiberglass on this. Um, it's Like I said, this is a really, really expensive helmet. So you don't wanna be doing that. So let me kind of get this right up to the top area. 
Boom. So that's gonna be good. We're gonna leave that for about a half hour. And then when this is finished, we will continue with the video. So here's my Arai Corsair X with the mount on there and the double face tape over here for the um, microphone adapter. That's just gonna go like that. I'm gonna have the GoPro on there. Not a big deal, it is what it is. Um, now this thing, you know, don't glue those on your helmet. You know, I see guys JB weld it to keep extra, uh, to keep it from ever moving. But honestly, you just want it double face taped on there. They won't let you on a track with something like this on your helmet. So, you know, you're gonna have to just um, be cognizant of that and, you know, just uh, ride at your own risk with that kind of thing. Um, there is a possibility that it's gonna get caught and turn your neck if you do crash uh, with, so um, that is a possibility, but you're you're gonna mitigate that by just leaving it double face tape, but nothing's guaranteed, right? When you crash, you don't know what the outcome of that's gonna be. But anyway, so that's what this kind of looks like. And like I said, it gives you plenty of room to keep it straight or do whatever you wanna do. You're probably gonna have it something like that. So when your head's down, the camera's gonna be straight. I mean, this is, just about perfect, the helmet's not too heavy now. And then if I put my mount here, plug it in. So there we are, just like that. And that is pretty much how that's gonna go. I'll probably mess with this a little bit. You know, I'm not really sure if that's the spot I'm gonna keep it or whatever, but seems to be fine for now, whatever. I'm not really too concerned about it. But now we will move into the, um, chin strap now this deal you don't need all this slack in this now it's better to have more slack than not enough right so what you're gonna do is basically just shove it in there i mean it's it's really not you don't have to get too crazy about it uh what i'm gonna do is take my chin mount out I don't want to take it all the way out though. So, all right, so there you go. That just kind of folds out of the way like that, right? So all we need to have showing is the mic, that's it. It's really all you need to do. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep that like literally like right, just, it doesn't have to be right in front of your face, over to the side's fine. It's gonna catch your voice just fine. Um, so I'm just gonna take all this and I'm just gonna kind of fold it up. You don't wanna kink the wire, so you kind of wanna just do this kind of deal. <clears throat> and kind of try to keep it as neat as you can. The Velcro, I'm just gonna take that and put it on the interior. In here just stick it in there right in there somewhere and now I'm gonna get the other piece cut about the same length and when I get the wire and I fold it in there I'm just gonna shove this other piece right over top of it I'm gonna also leave this on there so it doesn't stick to the cheek pad right so <clears throat> we don't need a lot of this where's my velcro there it is you also got to be a little bit aware about where this is going. Um, there isn't really too much to strap it to in here as far as the interior padding goes. So you're pretty good there. Um, you just kind of fold it all up in there and don't kink it. You don't want to kink, kink in your wire. So here's the mic right here. And there's all the uh, wire and stuff kind of just shoved in there and held in there with the Velcro. And there's your mic, the tip of the mic right there. And you gotta be aware because it's gonna this is all gonna slide in there. So now I'm gonna kind of put the interior back together. All right, so now I have everything all installed here. Um, next thing I'm gonna do, let's uh, throw a battery in the Hero 10. We don't have a, we need an SD card first. So we'll throw the SD card in. All right guys, so here's the finished product here, the Arai Corsair X. GoPro Hero 10 with the microphone mount, or microphone adapter, I'm sorry. 
and it looks really cool. And again, like you can see, you have plenty of adjustment here for when you're riding, if you had your head tilted or if you're in the tuck. Um, you don't want the camera to be like this because when your head's down, you're gonna be um, looking at your gas tank. So we got plenty of room here to move uh, the camera as far as I need it to be. Like I don't want it ever to be straight like that. So as far as this goes, it's, it's probably never gonna be like that. So um, the shield comes up just fine, as you can see. Um, and right now what we'll do is we'll just put the helmet on and I will test the uh, microphone. And as you can see inside here, we have the mic. You can just barely see the dead cat there. I'm sorry about the lighting. But that big ball of fuzz right here, that's the microphone. And if you have a beard like I do, it's probably gonna bother you and tickle your face. Yeah, I don't think the dead cat's gonna work. So we're gonna try it without the dead cat because it's just a little bit much. I think. And then the cheek pads keep kind of riding out. You gotta kind of Hold that over. There we go. That's better. All right. So, boom. Now, always make sure. Oh, sorry, y'all can't hear what I'm saying. Always make sure that your um, strap is done under here. Uh, this is a double D ring setup. Please make sure that that's connected and buttoned. If you find that you're riding and this is not buttoned up, pull over and button it up. It does have a double D ring, like I said. So. It's pretty secure, uh, but take it from me, when you crash on a motorcycle and your head starts hitting the ground like this, um, you're gonna really pray that that thing's buckled the way it should be because if this helmet comes off, it's game over. Anyways, so there we are, guys. It looks super sick on there. And let's turn this thing on and get a test. This is the GoPro Hero 10 with a Arai Corsair X. And we are currently Waiting for a Ducati Panigale V2. Oh my god, I can't breathe. Guys, look at where this channel has come from nothing. I mean, it's just it's it's just crazy. I never would in a million years thought that I would own a Ducati, you know, and in just a few weeks I'll be taking delivery. I can't believe it. And it's all thanks to you guys, you know, like and uh thank you, Liz, again for the beautiful, beautiful helmet. I know she bought me this helmet as well. And um didn't turn out very well, but this is um, very sentimental to me now because it saved my life. Uh, and it's a badass helmet, and I wish I would have got to ride longer with it because it's it's an amazing, amazing helmet. Um, but the white one, the white one looks awesome too. I really love the white. It's going to look so good with the Ducati Panigale. Uh, even though I did get all red and all my gear is going to be black, I did want to throw it off a bit and just have that pop of a white helmet, you know. It's just going to look sick. Because um, some of my stuff's going to be white, like my boots are going to be white, my gloves, and everything else is going to be black. Um, my setup is going to look money. So that's kind of it, guys. That's what I got for y'all. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. Go to Raven Moto um, to shop for gloves. They have the best gloves. They have awesome armored pants. They have jackets, race suits, whatever y'all want. Arm, uh, Raven Moto. Use my discount code hard city, uh, for 10% off. And if you want to become a patron member, go ahead and do that. We are still doing the giveaway. Like, the, and honestly, guys, the only reason why we haven't been doing giveaways on Patreon yet and the helmet giveaways or gear giveaways is because like I said, I need 50 patrons to start, uh, producing the income to buy it. Cause it, I'm not buying it with my own money. The support from you guys and that money that comes in from you guys, you guys are supporting the channel. I mean, I can buy things um, from my own money, but uh, I have bills to pay and stuff and, you know, motorcycles to buy. And hopefully one day it gets to the point where I can give away uh, motorcycles for you guys. Like that's the whole, that's the whole thing. That's the whole reason why I even want a patron. I don't want patron. The patron money is not for my personal use or for my pocket. The patron money is specifically for buying a motorcycle to give to you guys. That is the only reason it's for. Like, I will never see that money. It's actually to the point to where you guys decide what that money gets used for. Like, you guys literally pick the bike, pick everything. I do not have nothing to do with it. Um, of course, I'm the one who runs it and I'm the run guy who runs the channel, but the money you guys are in charge of. It's your money. You're supporting it. Um, 
and that's just how it's going to work and i think that's fair right it's fair enough so you're not obligated to do that of course but if you do want to support and become a patron member links below also if you do wish to donate to the channel uh so i can get a head start on these kind of things there's a little heart with a money sign go ahead and do that any amount's fine i don't care if it's three cents i don't really care whatever y'all want you're not obligated to do any of this i only ask that you support the channel if you feel like you've taken something from this like some of my videos helped you they entertained you you learned something whatever that's the only um time i ask for you guys to do that but if not if you just want to like fine if you don't want to like fine too i'll see you guys in the next one i love you all peace